Rocket Mass heaters are a tinkerer's technology for outdoors and the shop and garage, but not in the house. That used to be true. Yes, and that is where we started. Yep, that's where we started. And now we're done with that phase. We're so far past tinkerer's technology that's not funny. I mean, you've been in our house with our stove. You've been in my house with mine. We, yeah, I mean... You've, you've been sitting here with this. Well, yeah. we are in a shop. You know, we go in and we load the stove every hour and a half, which is less time than I ever tinkered with a box stove. Um, I don't think we've changed it. We clean it out once a year, and occasionally we hang something on it because we're trying to work for looks. But other than that, the yearly cleaning and loading it, is pretty much all the tinkering we do. Well, having said that, if you're a tinkerer, right, it's the toy for you. <laughs> yes, so, you know, I have never like okay. Of all the people who see a rocket stove working, right, brand new people who've never seen a rocket stove, they walk in, they see a rocket stove working, they look inside, they see the you know rocket mass heater, I should say, working. They they look inside, they see the fire burning sideways, right, and, and then you take the barrel off for them, and they see the J tube. Okay, so a certain percentage go whatever, okay, and walk on by, mm -hmm. right? Okay, fine. That's just a certain percentage of people who are just not interested in that sort of thing. Yep. Of all the people who go, wow, that's kind of cool, the next thing that comes out of their mouth is, I can make that better. Yes. Right? In Everyone, whether they're right or not, they're typically full of it at this point because a lot of time has been spent bettering these. So you're actually going to have to work hard to better these things at this point. Yeah. But everyone says it. Everyone says it. I can make that better. Which is kind of, it is a tinker stove in that everyone wants to tinker with the damn thing. That's true. That's true. And but it's a fun tinker's toy. Yeah. But if you're not a tinkerer, it's also ready for prime time. If only the department that makes you sad would get on our side. Like they, they did are. Port like they did in Portland with you right. guys. We've yeah. had a lot of friendly inspections in the last few years. Yeah. I mean, we're making a lot of progress in that space. Yeah, which we've is the whole point. worked for it awful hard for a long time. And part of it is that it is just like the way, I mean, all of my tinkering on our stoves happens out outside, yeah. out where my testing beds are. And that's it's the extent of, uh, extent of our tinkering because I don't want to tinker the stove in my living room into not working when I need it to work. I mean, that, that's the bottom line there. The important thing is, is that in homes, yeah. we've been having terrific success <clears throat> for five years or more. Yeah. And, um, and, and then in homes eight years ago, there were some examples that were great and there were some examples that were dodgy and um and and when was myrtle built for the first time the rocket mass heater in myrtle well that was that was that's old that's yeah um, that, i don't know maybe 20 years 20 years ago uh, yeah. i think they built it the spring before i took my and before i went there yeah so yeah pushing 20 years now yeah. And that's mm -hmm. an interior space. That's a that's a people space. Right. Yeah, and that's another stove that doesn't get tinkered with. Yeah. Well, except for well, anyway, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. We're we've taken up far more time I than I thought. Add we would. one more thing. Okay. One more thing. Do I it. I want to talk up this type of stove. Cuz all this time we've been talking about Rocket J tubes. Rocket J tubes are ready for prime time in people's homes. But well, and, yes, and um, the batch rocket style of rocket stove um, takes that up a notch mm -hmm. because it, the, there's an opportunity for a door with glass in it so you can see the fire from across the room. You don't have to be perched on top of the stove to see it. You can throw in, as we've shown you, full-size firewood. And the people who don't like fooling with fire and just want to toss a log in and walk away get to have that. It's like... Finally, it's not just ready for a, somebody who likes fire and wants to sit and play with the fire while they're heating their homes for less, but also regular homeowners who just want to toss a log and forget about it and sit on the other side of the room, put their feet up and watch the fire burn. So, better, like, yeah, 
totally ready for prime time. I have JTube, a JTube system in the Fisher Price house and a JTube system in the library. And for both of those, I get the fire in it and I walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, and but I, you, can't, you walk away, but you can't see the fire unless you're above it. Or well, you put a mirror above, the, which we've done. We put a mirror above the fire, and then you could sit on the other side of the room and look at the mirror to see the fire. Well, at the Fisher Price house, our barrel is a stainless steel barrel, which reflects the fire really well. Right. It's kind of cool. But you're right. I mean, it, we don't have the, the view. And, and I think that, that the batch box system is the future of rocket mass heaters. And I think that some of the innovations that happened at this innovators event have made it simpler, way simpler to build because there were some complexities with the batch box system. Um, <clears throat> but I think that there's a couple of little tweaks that we still need to discover to make it be ready for prime time. Yeah. And, and I think Peter has knocked out one out of three of those. And it's like, so we're making great progress. But at the same time, when we were looking at the one that has the awesome door, the magnificent, simple door. That crap, little crap door. And then you pulled the thing off and then smoke came out. The idea that smoke comes, I mean, smoke comes out of conventional wood stove too. Constantly. But it's like. I don't know what stove that does it. Except in, for maybe like a couple of JT. At the Fisher Price house, <clears throat> getting any smoke to come back is like maybe once every two months you get like this little whiff of smoke coming back. And that's it. Yeah. And so I'm kind of thinking like this is running cleaner than a conventional wood stove. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, these are running, all of these run cleaner than a conventional wood yeah. stove. Even with that puff of smoke back. So that's what I'm counting is like let's let's hold a ruler up to the how much smoke comes back into the house while you're trying to operate it. In a conventional wood stove, and when I've operated them, it's like oh I forgot to open the draft. Well, let's you ask know? the audience how many of you guys used conventional wood or conventional wood stove. How often do you Front. open the door? Every forty-five minutes. Okay. How often do you get smoke in your room when you open the door? Every forty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. that was one of the things that I always had a problem with is everybody's telling me how much rocket stoves are smoking back. And I'm like, okay, I've used a conventional wood stove for most of my life. And I don't recall ever not opening the door and either having to open it really slowly so it all pulls in if I have somebody who is really worried about any kind of smoke inhalation or open the door to throw a piece of wood in and I get a curl of smoke out the top. We had a right-way stove, one of those funky earlier airtight stoves, that if you didn't open the door really slowly, it wouldn't just smoke back, it would shoot a column of flame back. Right. Because it's barely burning in there and you open the door and it would backdraft. It would go whoosh! And, and you had to open it that much and let it go whoosh! And then you open the door. Whoa! <laughs> that, was a, that was a stove I grew up with. Adventure! And every, and every year we had a chimney fire. And my dad would be on the redwood shingled, redwood shake roof with a hose dribbling because the pressure was crap up there, screaming orders into the wind that nobody could hear. <laughs> well, we were downstairs throwing water on the chimney pipe so it wouldn't melt. So that's the situation I grew up in, right? <laughs> Think of the children. Think of the yeah. children. Think of the children. Think of the children. Are they putting enough water on that damn pipe down so, there? So I better yell louder. When I got old enough, I was the one who would start the small chimney fire in the stove every year so that we didn't have the big one. And because I did that, nobody noticed until I moved out. Okay. I want to <laughs> say, in response to your thing about the J-Tube, there's a reason why the J2 rocket mass heater is currently king. It works really great. It is fantastic. And we've optimized. Stop making that face. <laughs> <laughs> He's part of the reason why it works. He's part it of the reason works, why it works really great, it by works the way. It's really good. And it's easy and quick to build. And it's magnificent it's in so many tolerant. ways. It's fault tolerant and it's great. And all those things. It's got all this <laughs> wonderful stuff. And someday the batch box is going to fully displace all J tubes. I don't believe because, that. Because because you can burn three to six times more wood all at once. And so rather than running a fire for two hours with a with a J tube, we will put one fire in 
and then minutes. walk away from it. We're all done for whatever whatever amount of wood we put in. That's the amount for the day. Yes, yeah. but then there's pathetic bastards like me who could care less whether I can see the fire or not. I'm not worried about if I can see flames. I'm worried about my house being warm. No. Well, there's that, but I mean, is it it's, it's so? There's a choice to make. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's a choice to make, but I mean, like, come on, don't tell me that you're not like a romantic. You love to sit in front oh, of an I'm open an, fire. I'm an absolute You love romantic. sitting in front of an open fire and snuggling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ask her. And if I feel like being sitting in front of an open fire and snuggling, we go out and we build a room for it out in the front yard in a snowdrift, <laughs> and we sit in front of an open fire snuggling. <laughs> if you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com, where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.